All right, let's go on with this game, shall we? So as you can see, we are improving our land, we are developing, we are trying to use the piece we have more or less to develop a little bit in our big continent that we conquered. And uh, we have obviously a lot of irrigation in our starting continent, but here we only have six cities they are kind of crap. Also, Caesarea keeps getting invaded by the English. They're a pain, and now again, we don't have any buildings. So yeah, that's that's annoying. At least we managed to take gunpowder for free, so that's something, I guess. Anyway, let's go and improve the area around Chicago. And uh, these guys, uh, Temple Library Marketplace, we can get a granary here to keep growing. Yep, that's fine. Let's build a road. Okay, so Rome has some production now, but we could we could use more. Mm, I'm thinking maybe here because we already have roads here so we can turn this into a forest uh, Delhi could totally get irrigation down here uh, this guy this guy wanted to be a new city up here I think I mean there is a lot of jungle which is annoying but still we have these two tiles which are very good Yeah, actually, that's about it, right? And well, the, the look starting site is very good. We can then change this and move the irrigation over there. But yeah, now that I think about it, it's really not such a great spot. It might be better to just settle here or even here to get the hills. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm, I'm going to settle here instead. So you can get the hills, I get enough nice tiles, a little bit of desert which is annoying but we also have the fish, we have this tile as well here so it's not so terrible it's going to be easier to improve that one as well because it's closer so yeah, a lot of advantages to selling there Syracuse got a caravan, Syracuse can get another settler and it will get another settler so apparently the British have conquered Ulundi that's uh, a little bit annoying because Ulundi is a good city, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it has a great wall, although we already have gunpowder, so the great wall is not useful anymore. And look, Paris and Mumbai are here, so that's nice. Mm, anyway, um, yeah, I really wouldn't like to see the English destroying the Sulu completely. I guess I will. I will take some trade routes here if I can make peace with the Aztecs which should be doable mm. so I said that I was going to settle down there and I will and let's bring irrigation all the way here let's get irrigation there uh, Syracuse this guy will go uh, you know what let's let's bring him up I want to take him to Aztec land, maybe make peace with the Aztecs and do something useful. So Irene builds temple. Okay, good for you. This place could totally get a granary to grow a little bit faster. Okay, another guy here just in case those British people attack. Um, hmm, this guy definitely doesn't have a lot of production. Anyway, granary. Uh, I want to send this guy in road. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that, that Magellan expedition is being really useful in this map. Okay, Brundisium. Good. You can do that now and get a granary, I guess. Fortify, thank you. I could build a road all the way into my new city and I think I'm going to do it. Oh, I, I could start building railroads, I forgot about that, I need to start doing that, I need to start building railroads right now. You know what, let's do this because I want to get a few wonders in here, like Darwin's Voyage for example. Wasn't one of these guys building 
yeah this let's go you know what let's do that as well I want to develop these cities Washington builds caravan which is good and they have no trouble getting two settlers so I think I will have two settlers by Washington as a regular thing and, um, and I will use them to uh, to get railroads and stuff like that so let's build a bank Madras builds granary which is good let's get a caravan here I'm going to purchase it with money obviously okay so railroads boom there we go road this guy will go and help with that wonder that Darwin's voyage well let's do that I want production here let's start doing railroads everywhere uh, this guy will go all the way to Aztec land hopefully I can make peace with the Aztecs okay Palmira has a unit which is good let's get it no not that one marketplace yeah and when we grow we're going to work on this not now because we want to grow then again we really want the marketplace so let's do that instead all right and can we purchase another one of these guys not right now not right now okay next turn we're going to purchase two more caravans okay what do you want no I'm absolutely not giving you money okay that's annoying that this shit happens at the same time uh, I'm, I'm being seriously <laughs> unlucky with that shit it's like all the time we get those guys man all the freaking time and uh, and then the variants download at the same time on the same spot that's just absurd okay marketplace Granary, yeah, that's fine. So let's do this and this. Also, I think that should be enough. Okay, you can wait. You can wait. You can wait. The British are the main priority here. <laughs> this guy can build a railroad right here. Let's communicate. All right. This guy goes up. All right. You can wait. Okay. Let's do this. Finally. Okay. That was supposed to happen, which is good. This guy can wait. This guy can go over there. Uh, now we are talking. Finally. okay I like that let's see if I can deal with these guys yeah we can okay that's good uh, we're getting quite a lot of money here let's uh, use it yep yep I said yes okay now let's go Mm -hmm. yeah we are running low on money but that's not going to last uh, another caravan yeah sure Boston gets bank which is always a good thing to have the city could totally have a second settler and then we're going to build an aqueduct because we cannot grow above 10 population there in Boston if we don't have an aqueduct. Madras got another one of these, which is fine. Let's now change this to the library. Okay, and uh, it's time to work on railroads. Railroads. Let's go here, let's build a road. 
let's irrigate let's go down let's build a road this guy can help with this wonder we have Isaac Newton College here and now let's voyage you know what I will keep getting money and I will just purchase that voyage and that's really it end of turn okay so if I download my caravan right next to Tenochtitlan, clan they can destroy it but hopefully they won't if they say hi instead oh the British want to attack the Aztecs as well they're getting um, very ambitious I think too ambitious for their own good okay situation here yeah next turn I think I'm purchasing Darwin's voyage that's going to give me two technologies Bangalore builds library okay good for you uh, we are already paying for a settler here let's get a bank instead okay so Darwin's voyage let's see what can we do here there we go um, okay let's start with the railroad situation okay we can see our first railroads are coming that is good news obviously okay so this city is surrounded by English troops that is a little bit annoying to be honest I'll probably go to this one instead okay so we got metallurgy for free and we're going to get the second one for free which is going to be Atomic theory, I guess. And let's go industrialization. Okay, you can help the other guy building the other wonder that we are building. Okay. Well, that's fine. We keep developing here, which is good and oh i s forgot to start my clock i think i've been playing for like 10 minutes maybe anyway philadelphia mm. what are you going to do can you pay for two settlers no you cannot you don't have enough food for that uh, Apple cathedral university okay you just got a bank apparently let's get more commerce up there syracuse got a settler that's good Let's get a library. Atlanta got a settler, which is also good. Let's get a granary. Okay, so I don't want to attack that guy, to be honest with you. Let's build railroad. Let's get a new city. Tyrus. Okay. Tyrus is a Roman city in this game. I guess at some point they did conquer it, but anyway, uh, can we get some money? Yeah, let's let's get some production there. So we basically can get that musketeer next turn for very little money. Let's keep building railroads. Mm. I guess I can do this and keep improving Atlanta a little bit. I really want to change to... Okay, so this guy has a few boats. No one else has troops outside their cities, I think. So is it time to get democracy? What do you guys think? I think it is time to get democracy. I need to purchase those 
those cities, those English cities, and start weakening the English as soon as possible. Tourist Fields Granary, which is good. Let's go Marketplace. We're going to get Democracy. Boom. There we go. And so, let's see. Um, we need to go down to 70% tax, and then the luxuries rate is always taken from the science. We're going to go 30% luxuries. So, Trade Advisor. Uh, we are winning more than 200 per turn now, which is much more than we had before. And we are producing, let's see that again, we are producing luxuries with every city. Washington, for example, is producing 10 luxuries right now. Let's see what's our happening situation. So Byzantium, obviously, everybody's unhappy because of this. But because we have Shakespeare Theatre until electronics, we are going to be okay. So we are going to delay electronics because electronics will make Shakespeare Theatre um, obsolete. So, And we want those boats out there. So... I think I will delay electronics all the way until um, maybe women's suffrage, which makes people not so unhappy. Okay, so these guys are pretty unhappy right now. Okay, that's a little bit better. I guess we need to go marketplace here. Let's see my cities with a lot of population how are they doing in happiness they're doing pretty well actually I seem to be doing even better than before let's see Boston is doing better than before as well yeah I'm getting a lot of luxuries that's the thing and I'm getting zero corruption so that's pretty awesome yeah most people seem to be doing oh Brundisium is not doing fine how about this oh look at that we are using everything and because we have more commerce here that means we have more luxuries these guys are fine now okay Byzantium they are okay obviously okay this is fine this is fine these guys should get the temple soon and uh, what about this fine okay and so can I uh, wait a second can I purchase this that's important. So let's do this, that, this. Okay. Okay, let's make peace with these people. If they're asking for 100 gold, I will give it to them. I do want chemistry. Let's exchange knowledge. Uh, they take railroad, that's fine. I'm not giving you atomic theory and we are making peace. Awesome. We welcome peace. I cannot demand for tribute anymore, but that's fine. I don't want to demand tribute from them. Let's go here. Let's build railroads. Okay, so we are doing okay. We're going to do a very nice trade route right there. We have the largest civilization in the world, which is good. And so now we are going to the last phase of the castle improvement, which is really spectacular. Caesarea builds temple, which is nice. Let's get a marketplace. Oh, we love the President Day celebrated in Boston. That increases our production for a turn or so. Usually it only lasts for one turn, but still nice to have it. Antioch got a library, which is good. Antioch, uh, can we build a settler here? No, we cannot really pay for a settler here. So let's do caravan first. Okay, and let's go here. Trade out established, 23 which is awesome and that was from where exactly I don't remember from where but yeah some some of my cities 
yeah this one that's three commerce every turn because we are losing nothing to corruption so that's pretty good how are our trade routes going right now yeah that is doing a little bit better okay cool we are doing fine mm -hmm. yeah maybe not so much food or not so much commerce i mean and more production yeah so let's build railroads here let's build railroads here let's keep establishing a railroad network okay so this guy can do a temple now yeah that's fine and uh, end of turn do we want that that much money i think no i think we want to go science for a few turns so 30 percent of luxuries is usually enough sometimes you can actually uh, do with only 20 percent luxuries in democracy but if you want to be sure about it if you don't want to have any problem 30 percent is a safer bet and as you can see with 30% we are also getting a few we love the president days and uh, those days gives you extra production so it's always nice to have them as well anyway let's go here and go on with the railroads okay so this guy keeps building units I'm going to build one more maybe no what we're going to do is we're going to replace this guy so this guy goes there and then we're going to make a change here okay so this guy goes here this guy goes there it's going to be used for transportation of caravans okay let's go down let's do this let's do that <coughs> okay the english are still trying to attack me my will caravan yeah let's get more because this one is going to help with the wonder that i'm building boston build settler Boston could have a granary actually they don't even have a granary and then we are going to go aqueduct so Brundisium yeah that's fine Brundisium has some serious happiness problems let's see if we can get a bank here to get some extra luxuries mm -hmm. okay so I saw a boat here yeah there you are well, let's see yeah we could destroy them before they landed which was really good okay then so we go here 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 and let's build railroad railroad everywhere all right okay and now we're getting here in one turn which is awesome uh oh this is a british unit hmm. okay we are going to have to move one of these guys away from the city which is always a problem okay so in democracy every time you get one guy out two people get angry Hmm. okay so let me think about this yeah I'm going to localize this guy here so I can move yet another guy from Bangalore can I keep him outside the city yes I can so we're going to wait and so here we can do that and this is fine okay so we have two guys 
three guys against one knight. That should be enough. Should be enough. And we have a nice musketeer here, which is also good. Oh, okay, I will receive you. I will not give you 300 gold. Okay. Good. Washington builds caravan, which is fine. Washington could have yet another settler actually building railroads and so. Yeah, that happens. Those celebrations usually only last one turn. So I ring out the granary, which is good news. Let's get a marketplace. So the British keep landing over here. Maybe they even have a city by now. This guy is better, and let's use him. Nope. Okay, that one was useful. Which means we need another unit. Maybe a cannon. Not, now that I will have railroads, I don't mind that the cannon only has one movement. Okay. We are going down. We are getting a railroad here. Let's wait. Um, you know what? I'm going to check the other side of the world to see what's going on there. And this guy is the last one of the turn, so he will stop. Leon builds granary, which is fine. Mm. I'm thinking bank. Chicago Wheels Granary, which is good. Um, this guy could totally get a, actually we can get a caravan first to get a trade route in. Palmyra Village Marketplace, which is good. And uh, we're going to get a little bit more commerce in here as well. Yep, okay. Let's keep building railroads. Yeah, this continent is going to be very easy to connect because it's so small. Let's go down, let's wait. Okay. And we seem to be very close to getting another technology. Antioch. Yeah, I'm not building barracks, man. My plan is to not build any more units, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. We can build transports now, which is nice. Uh, factories and women's suffrage. Women's suffrage is pretty good. Communism in the corporation, electricity. Where to go? Electricity. All of those are more or less okay, but we are in a good position now for a scientific victory, so we, we have to research uh, basically everything. And so it's a, that's a good reason to build more libraries. Cartage got a granary, finally. These guys are not super happy. Let's get a bank if we can. Philadelphia will caravan, which is nice. They already have two trade routes, though. Mm. What can we do here? University. I don't have universities yet, so that's something we can improve. And the British are not expanding in their own continent which is a little bit dumb in my opinion, but okay, whatever. 
Okay, we're starting to get a nice railroad network. Let's do this, let's do that. Uh, I'm waiting with that uh, frigate because I think maybe I want to use it um, for moving caravans. Okay, I need money now. Philadelphia will go down. I can wait. You know what? I think that caravan from Philadelphia will also help uh, building the stuff. Okay. Mumbai will caravan. Mine is an aqueduct because they already have 10 population. And if I want it to grow, I need an aqueduct. Guardian builds temple. That's good. This city keeps growing. We're going to get a settler because we need settlers all over the place, really. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. How is that cannon coming? It is coming. All right. So that's good. Oh, here you are, Oxford. Okay. Okay, we can do this and attack this guy with two thirds because he's just a diplomat. He has no defense value. Let's build more roads, more railroads, I mean. Here I can do this faster if I put two settlers working on it. Let's do this. Yeah, so how are we doing with that wonder now? Two turns. Okay, good. If I want to get it right now, how much do I have to spend? Well, let's do it. I save one turn of production there, and uh, also I guarantee that I will get the wonder. Oh, they're, they're attacking with quite a lot of stuff here. Okay. We're going to need diplomats to purchase those units. Okay, let's go back. Let's keep building railroads. Okay, so Philadelphia will have a trade with someone on my first continent, maybe. This guy needs to leave. Can he leave? Yes, he can. Okay, that's good. Let's just get a knight in here. Mm, these cities are having trouble. Okay, let's get another knight just in case. Mm hmm that's fine. Okay, we keep building railroads all over the place. That is important, connecting all of your cities with railroads. Also, railroads give you more of everything that the tiles have. So if the musketman goes to the mountain, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Uh, because he gets a huge defensive bonus in the mountains, so I'm not going to attack him. I'm just, I'm just going to send a diplomat and purchase a unit. Basically, that's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, let's get diplomats. We are going to start playing the type of game in which we need. Um, yeah, just basically a lot of uh, diplomats, a lot of diplomats, and a lot of constant money. So this is all good. Okay, it's time to give, give this city more production. It's time to give Rome more production. Mm -hmm. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving.
Okay, so Ingram is developing the learner around Ulundi, which is fine. They, st they start philosophy seriously, they don't have philosophy, that's stupid. Nicopolis builds granary, which is good. But people are angry here, so I'm going to get a bank. Byzantium builds caravan, okay. <coughs> I will try to get women's fresh, but maybe not here actually. That was not a good idea. Mm. Yeah, we can get a bank here. Let me rethink that. So Byzantium. Byzantium can get a bank, for example. And then women's fresh can probably go here in Mumbai after the aqueduct, yeah. So let's let's purchase the aqueduct actually. Let's go with women's fresh as quickly as possible. That's a very good wonder. Okay, let's move the cannon first. Let's build more railroads. Railroad, railroads everywhere. Here, just because it's good. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, so this guy is going to cross all the way here. Okay, this guy can wait, you can wait, you can move in there, you can head back, this guy goes in, this guy from Antioch can go all the way to the north, I think, yep, oh, cancel, okay, let's stay in the railroad, because when I leave the city I lose a third of my movement points, and that means losing strength as well. Let's remember that building railroads on the hills actually give you extra production, so it's pretty awesome. Let's put some money into science. Delhi builds diplomat, which is good. Let's get another one, and you know what, I'm going to get a transport as well. Mumbai got an aqueduct, which is good. We're going for women's fresh. 40 turns, that's pretty good. Palmyra got this, we can get another one. Okay, so you can do this. There you go. Pretty good. You can wait, you can sentry again. So we sent you, you're going to get me a transport which is much better than a frigate, okay? Okay. And so the guy from Philadelphia is going to leave. Uh, keep moving, actually. I'm going to establish a trade route in Rome. And this guy will go down. Keep moving. Cool. This guy from Palmyra, I think I'm going to just help building the wonder. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Here we need to get rid of that annoying musketeer. Antioch, keep moving. Yeah. Okay, let's build more railroads. Aha. So there is more land over there. Which English city am I going to take first? I'm thinking nothing. I'm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. The marketplace is going to give me more luxuries. Uh, yeah, this is annoying. Okay, but this is only happening because we have one guy out. Also, we don't have a marketplace, so yeah, we can we can fix it. We can fix that 
disorder. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. But we maybe want more food in Palmyra. So let's do that. Let's bring this guy up. And I'm going to actually establish a trade route here. This guy from Philadelphia will go all the way to Rome. Yep, pretty nice. Even sentry for now. This guy is from Byzantium, so he can go all the way up to Mumbai, I guess. Okay. This guy belongs in Bangalore. Let's fortify him there. And this guy needs to get rid of this fella. So if I pay him 134, he will desert, and now he did. End of story. Problem is, he belongs to Tyrus, okay? Okay, people are a little bit unhappy about that, but because we have such a small amount of population, it is not a big deal. So that's good. The only problem with that strategy is that uh, it only works um, if there is only one unit in the tile, if there are more than there is more than one unit in that tile, it's not going to work. So keep that in mind if you want to use it. Okay, so fortify here, fortify there. More railroads, please. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, end of turn. Awesome. Okay, let's keep improving our palace. It's looking really nice. The last improvement of the Middle Eastern Palace is really spectacular. I really like it. No more Will of the President. Well, that's a shame. Okay, so let's see the situation in Rome. Can we get more stuff? Yes, we can. How about this one? We still can, actually. That's interesting. And so let's go for a bank, shall we? What's going on? Brundisium, what's your problem, Brundisium? How about this? There we go. You see the luxuries are actually... When I get more commerce, everything is fine. I can also do this to get even more commerce. Order restored in Siren. Let's get this railroad a little bit faster. This guy gets inside the city. And I think we're keeping this diplomat here in case we have another emergency like that one. Okay, this guy from Byzantium can go all the way up to Mumbai, in my opinion. Aha! Uh -huh. Delhi builds a diplomat, which is nice. We need a bunch of diplomats. We need a bunch of them. We need three to be more specific. To begin with. Madras builds library. That's very good. Let's go with the caravan. Let's get more, more commerce in this place. Brundisium builds a bank, which is nice. Order restored in Brundisium. We're getting a caravan, which is good. Can I do this? I can do that. Yeah, okay, let's go library a little bit faster then. Okay, so we got electricity. These two electronics, which I don't have, I don't want. Steel, explosives. Um, I think I need the corporation to get to flight. Should care about one of these guys. We can get another one, but let's get a library first. You know what? This city needs a settler. For some reason, Chicago doesn't have a settler of its own. So we're going to build one. Okay, you can go here and do this. Yep. And center it right there. And so this other guy 
So we go here and center right here. Good. And here we have two guys, which is fine, except for the fact that we have almost no production right now, but we will eventually fix that. Okay. Keep moving. Okay, you can go down. Okay, that's pretty good. And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to destroy this because the, the iron, the transport is coming in four, so I'm going to destroy this one. It's outdated right now. Is this guy coming a little bit faster now? Not yet. Okay, no, because I need to build more diplomats. Okay, so what's the situation here? We could get more production there with mines and stuff. We can also totally grow if I change that tile. Let's do this. This guy comes from Byzantium. He's going all the way to Mumbai and establish a trade route. That's quite a nice amount of money. Okay, this is this. That's a good place to have another railroad. Let's do this. Oh, I didn't, I didn't check how many citizens has Liverpool. Because if you get Liverpool, then York, then Dover and then go to the other side and get Coventry and Birmingham. Anyway, I'm going to need a lot of money for that, that's for sure. Those cities are going to be expensive. Uh, you can basically bribe the city to become your city. That's how this works, which is a little bit funny, but it is how it works. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Paris, builds a bank. Factory, no. Aqueduct, because we already have 10 populations, so if we want to grow any more, a little bit more, we need an aqueduct. Boston builds a granary, which is nice. Boston also needs an aqueduct to grow beyond population 10. Syracuse has a library, okay. So our cities are growing, finally. Population is not half a million yet so we don't need something like um, an aqueduct here we can truly get a bank mm -hmm. Gordian builds Sutler good for them let's go granary I want to grow this city mm -hmm. okay let's see if we can avoid the city because if you enter if you go in and out of the city you lose a movement point even if you are on railroads. Well, you lose a, a third of a movement point. You are going to see it here, for example, I have 0 0.1 and when I leave the city, my movement is over. So, if you do railroads around the city, you, you deal with that. Okay, I could put the diplomat here in the mountain. He can get to Liverpool in one go. That is very interesting indeed. Bangalore has Okay, no, this guy belongs to Chicago. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's get a railroad. Let's get another irrigation here. And I think I need to get some money. So what will what will corporation give me? Mass production, refining. And genetic engineering. Genetic engineering gives you the cure for cancer. Yeah, and so if you develop the cure for cancer, I, I really dislike the fact that they removed the cure for cancer. I think it was a very cool wonder. Plus one happy citizen in each city. As you can see, that's awesome. So, yeah, I want that. Okay, we have another boat. <coughs> Let's chase it. Orlean Bill Bill's library. So oh Orlean, you can get a caravan because you don't have any trade routes. We want more trade coming up. 
Okay, let's go over here, build a railroad on that mine. That mine is going to be awesome with the railroad. It's going to be super strong. Mm -hmm. Keep moving. Okay, do this. Okay, again, oh, I made a mistake. I clicked the wrong button. Anyway, I think it's about time we start saving money. Okay, that was good. Because we want to invade these people as soon as possible. And this guy is going to explore a little bit. So it's going to be an economic invasion. I'm going to pay those cities so they become um, Roman cities. I guess that is more or less based on the fact that, um, you know, of the purchasing of uh, Alaska by the US from Russia, I think that's the idea that this game was going for. But it's, it's very easy to manipulate, it's very easy to become super powerful with that. Um, so it's a little bit ridiculous. It, it appears in this game, and I think it was in Civ 2 as well, and then they removed it for C3 when it was replaced by cultural pressure as a peaceful way to uh, get territory. Yeah, this guy could also use more production actually. Uh -huh, we'll do that, we'll do this. Let's get this a little bit faster. This guy from Chicago will go down. to Paris, I think, yeah, sure, why not. Okay, so did I make any profit there? Okay, one commerce, not awful, it's not great either, but it's not awful. Let's go down. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Is that transport coming over? Yes, it is. I don't want another one for now. Let's go back. Okay. Wait. We can go here and also go there and here and wait. I'm pressing W for wait there. I'm not actually skipping the turn because I want these guys to go up here. Okay, so wait. Uh, this guy from Palmyra can go and get me women's suffrage. Yeah. Wait, everybody go in there, in there, wait, wait, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm putting all of my commerce into money so I can purchase an English city. Will I be able to purchase an English city? Well, you will know all about it during the next video. See you guys later.